Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I am off for the next few days so I'm going to take full advantage of filming and getting some content out because like, come on girl, get it together. I feel like when I'm on a roll, I need to like try to stick with it and like try to not to stop, you know? Because then I get a little bit lazy and then I get used to being like away and then I'm like, no, why are you away for so- it's a, it's a battle. So anyways. I'm gonna try to keep that role of like non-stop. It's really hot outside, so I decided to put on this dress. Also some contacts, like literally no foundation, just some contacts, some concealer, and a little bit of like, uh, I put a little bit of contour powder just around my face, just kind of like give it some color, some blush, and that's it. Like literally put my hair up in a bun, don't really feel like doing a lot to it. Um, I like, I'm so rude guys. I completely forgot to tell you guys that I cut my hair, even though I'm pretty sure you guys already like noticed it. A long time ago late news I know but like I'm sorry I, didn't tell I, I, I just like showed up with like short hair didn't say nothing about it like nothing happened um, but like I love it it's so hot outside and I feel like my hair is like ten times more alive and now I'm thinking about bleaching it and turning it back to purple uh, because like now I miss my purple hair I don't know and then I look at <clears throat> and then I then I want to go black black again because I look at like pictures or when, like, if I see, like, a chick out there with, like, really dark black hair, I'm like, I love it. And then when I look at uh, chicks with, like, their purple light hair, I miss my purple hair. So, like, I don't know what to do anymore, guys. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of leaving me the plan for today. I also need to go get cat litter. And, yeah, that's what I have to go do today. But... Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys with me. Also, like, I want to do something to my room, but, like, I don't know what to room do, uh, because it's, like, so small. My room is so small. But, like, I want to move it around. I get a lot of comments saying that this bothers them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where else to put it. I live, like, in a really small space, so, uh, I don't, you know. And then I was thinking about renting, like, a, a storage unit and, like, just putting all that in there and then... <sighs> I don't know guys but I know like my space is really small and I don't have a lot of things but at the same time things like this happen and what can you do about it okay so I am thinking about like moving my room around I just don't know where to put things at because like it's so small we are on our way to Ulta because I need some foundation I just got out of Ulta and I want to show you guys what I got so I do need foundation and I've been wanting to try Bare Minerals. So they have like this little kit. I've never tried Bare Minerals um, powder foundation, but I've seen it on other uh, women and it looks so nice. I've never tried powder foundation. I'm always like with the liquid po uh, foundation. So I'm like really excited to try this out. And I really liked that it's like a little kit and it's only $36 and it comes with the prime time, a primer, a mineral foundation uh, with SPF 15 sunscreen, uh, a little brush, and then it comes with the finishing powder. So uh, yeah, I'm like really excited to try it out because I've never tried a foundation powder and like I said, I'm a little scared but this is really cool because if you don't want to invest in like the bigger one and just risk it and then just buy everything for like pricier you could just try this little kit out and then if you like it you like it if you don't then you know you just stick to what you like and then I also got these Ardell um excuse my nails by the way guys I've like not taken care of them um these really nice these are 578 texture eyelashes and I really need eyelashes and I, I like the wisp look but not too dramatic and then I also got this blending brush this Morphe blending brush in the number what is it uh M573 just a little blending brush 
Then I got this Tarte High Performance Naturals Shape Tape Powder Foundation that I want to use as a contour. And I got this in the number 47N Tan Deep Neutral. Definitely need a... Oops. There we go. That's what it looks like. Just as like a contour powder. Uh, I always contour with powder. I don't contour with like liquid or sticks. Which I was looking for a, a stick contour. A contour stick. Um, just because I want to try it out. But I couldn't find it. Like they're all sold out. So anyways. Then I got this primer. Which I don't. I really don't use a uh, primer. But I've been spending a lot of time on TikTok. And uh, I've seen a lot of the like makeup gurus use the Smashbox photo finish um, as primer so like before they put everything on and like their face looks like super smooth and like nice so I really want to try it out and then Valerie got a like what did she get she got the ordinary caffeine solution reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness to add to her skincare routine I am officially home. I have removed all of my makeup on that I had on because I really want to try this like foundation. I'm just waiting for my skin to dry up a little bit. I used these makeup wipes and I'm going to go ahead and go in with some Cetaphil moisturizer first uh, just to moisturize my skin because I can't apply makeup on my skin feeling super dry. So. I'm literally not even gonna do anything dramatic. I'm just gonna throw on whatever I got. Okay, let's, okay, so I guess first we're gonna go in with this Smashbox primer. And I see them like tap it in like this into the pores. So that's what I'm gonna do. My skin feels so soft with this primer. I'm gonna go in with my shape tape and it looks disgusting guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer first. So I'm going to be using powder. I'm going to go in with this like a little bit darker one over it to make it a little bit darker because that one is uh, pretty light. And then I'm going to wet my sponge like that. And I'm just going to dab it in. Okay, so I just finished pressing my concealer in, so now I'm going to go ahead and I went ahead and opened it up, and this is what the foundation looks like, the powder, and now I'm going to dip my little brush that it comes with in it like this, I guess, and I'm just going to apply all over my face. Okay, let's we'll see what happens. I hope it's my color. It looks like my color. Is it my color? Is it too dark? Is it too tan? I think it's my color. It looks good. It may be. No, I think it looks good. I think my face is just like lighter than my entire, than the rest of my body. Could it be? Uh. Wow, I thought it would look like, I don't know. I'm just like dabbing it in like this. It doesn't look cakey at all. That's what I was expecting for it to look cakey. And my skin looking super dry. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face with it. And then we'll be right back. I like went ahead and put it all over my face. And I, th I feel like this is definitely my shade. I would probably get like a shade tad bit lighter, but for the summer, this is like perfect. Um, let me see if I can bring you in at a different angle. Right now with like better lighting, this is what it looks like. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. It does not look cakey at all. Like, I like it. I did not expect for it to look this good. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, kiki. I was a little scared. But, anyways, okay, let's... I'm going to put some, um, translucent powder up here. 
or you know what let's try the veal powder okay so I could set my um concealer in real quick so I went ahead and I used the other one which is the mineral veal powder which is a little bit lighter uh kind of like as a concealer but uh I put my liquid concealer first and then instead of using my translucent powder I went in with this one to set it in so it doesn't like crease and I'm not mad at it like it looks so good I was a little skeptical but I gotta say this is like really nice um and I use the same brush as well just to like dab it in and guys it looks so nice not cakey at all now i'm gonna contour my face a little bit with the new powder i got by tarte in the number 47 n and this is how it looks i don't like it to be too like crazy you know so anyways i'm just gonna go in with like my contour brush hope this color is nice I just want like a little bit of warmth on my face and oh it looks really nice it's like very subtle I don't want it to be too dark or too orange um this is like literally perfect the perfect perfect shade because I have another one that I use but I'm like using it because I ran out of the one I uh, normally will reach for and I've been using it for a while so um and it's like really orange but this one is like like i literally matched it it's perfect and i just like to apply it all on the bottom of my chin as well i love it i love it i'm just gonna add a little bit to the side of my nose Just to contour the nose a little bit. I love it because it's like very subtle. It's very subtle. Like, I love it. I just need like a little bit of color on my face. Like, I don't need it to be too dramatic. You know what I mean? Like, just a little bit of color. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of blush. And I've been having this for a long time. Like, look, this is, this is the contour that I ran out that I love and it's called and they don't have it anymore in it makeup yet because I went to go look at it it's called bad habit they don't have it anymore it's like discontinued so anyways I'm gonna go in with my blush and this is the color it's called love L love letter my makeup geek and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheek Just like that. That's it. And I'm not gonna like do anything dramatic today or nothing. I just kind of like want to try this out. Uh, but I am gonna add a little bit of mascara. And this is my, my favorite. Uh, this is called CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And I've been using this since I was in high school, literally. I love it. I highly recommend <laughs> Bare Minerals. But if like you're not sure of it, I would highly recommend you to get that little kit that comes with like all these little things which is like awesome because like I will definitely go back and reach for this again um but this color is like perfect for me right now in the summer because like the sun and like the, the tanning of the body and whatnot so it's like it's a nice a nice shade uh and during the winter I will reach for a lighter shade since I will not be going out to the sun not that I really do go out to the sun a lot but oh and I really like that it has like SPF so it like protects you from the sun as well which is like really awesome and it's not drying like it's not cakey at all which is what I was afraid of I thought it was gonna be like cakey a little bit of a little bit of the bristles are like left behind maybe because it's a new brush um but it is so nice like it feels so nice on the face nice and light nothing heavy it's like almost if i don't have anything hello we are at the drive through at mcdonald's we're actually gonna film a mukbang right now that you guys will most likely have already seen but i just thought that this lighting is like 
amazing. We came to this spot. It's called Ava's Italian Ice here in Chicago. And this is their coconut Italian. It's Italian ice cream. But it is so good. It's so delicious. Valerie likes to get the lemon, right? Valerie gets the lemon. And I love, love the coconut. delicious like it's literally so so good so if you guys are out here in chicago or if you guys come out to chicago you guys need to try it it's like usually really packed here too it's real good i need these to sleep maybe every chocolate i'm home guys officially home in my pjs just chilling. Just gotta take off my makeup. I showed you guys this at Walgreens, but they had music playing in the background. But this is my favorite chocolate. It is so, so good. Um, it has like a wafer inside. It has like a slight taste of, it's white chocolate with like a, a hint of um, coconut. Super delish. It is now the next day. I am nice and showered. And outfit of the day is just like a little cute summery dress. And yeah, I'm gonna put my makeup on right now and we'll be right back. This is the look I came up with. I actually have been seeing this upside down eyeliner on TikTok a lot and I've been wanting to try it. I wanted it to do black, but I don't have a black eyeliner. Uh, so I do have a, I mean, I do have a black eyeliner, but it's a liquid eyeliner, not a pencil. So I do, but I do have a brown pencil eyeliner. So that's why I did brown. Um, like, I like it, but I don't love it. It looks way better on other people on TikTok. Just, I don't know. I guess it just, like, depends. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But it doesn't look too bad. Right? I feel like I'm giving Egyptian, Egyptian, um, vibes looks. It is the next day I'm wearing the same dress because I ended up not doing anything yesterday we literally didn't go out anywhere so today we're gonna go to my parents house and hang out for a while it is Sunday and yeah I've been absolutely loving the like foundation but I did realize today that it is a little too dark for me um, it makes my face look orange so I'm gonna probably have to go back at some point and get like a lighter shade. But I'm not mad at it because it is, like I said, it's like a, I look a little tan, a slightly tan, but I do need it to go up like a shade or two, a lighter. Um, but I really like the, the, the formula and stuff. It doesn't look cakey. What's up guys? I, we're at We are at Sonic. We just got out of my mom's. Uh, and it's really, really hot. Like, let me tell you guys how. Let me, let's check how hot it is outside. 91 degrees, super sunny, super humid. We're here at Sonic for a quick slush. I ate some spaghetti. Well, we ate some spaghetti at my parents. And that's it. My sister-in-law was there, my brother. Um, but I was just in, I wasn't feeling the vibe. I'll tell you guys why. Because I kind of left a little, a little bothered, I guess. Yeah, because I was like, let's go Valerie. She was kind of like, mm, we just got here. And I know, I know. Um, I don't know. It's not that serious. It really isn't. But like, every time I'm there and my sister-in-law is there, my mom is there like my mom has a tendency to like ignore me and she kind of just like like it's just like a conversation between her and my sister-in-law like the entire time and then like today i was just like there like just there like just there like like there but not there you know so i was a little annoyed like not being part of the conversation more involved like whatever you know so I was just like, you know what, let's let's just go. I could have just stayed home. It's so hot outside. Um, but like if my sister-in-law's not there, then like my mom talks to me like full on. So I guess it like low-key bothers me, but it's like at this point it's just like whatever. 
now I'm just like let's get up and go and that's what I pretty much did today I just like got up and I just left because I would much rather be home watching some TV just chilling or like right now having a slushy so so yeah um they're gonna go to the pool though my sister-in-law my brother my little brother and my nephew um father doesn't have a bathing suit so can't go and I didn't bring my bathing suit I, I don't know it's just I have to like premeditate <laughs> about going to the swimming pool and I, I, I just can't make that decision like right then and there because I have to get like mentally ready that I am gonna rock a bathing suit I don't know if that makes sense maybe it makes sense to some of you guys but I have to like like if I make plans to do something out of the box I have to like um like I have to like get myself mentally ready for it like I can just do it like that maybe I can perhaps someday in the future I don't know just I guess it just depends what mood I'm into um but just like work like if I get called into work if I can like if I get asked if I can come into work right now I will most likely say no because like I'm not mentally ready for it that's kind of like what I'm saying probably doesn't make sense probably does but yeah waiting on our slushies pretty excited because it is super hot outside and thank you so sorry that we ran out of blue raspberry today oh uh, it's, it's okay you go. thank you you also have a good day you too It's a grape slushy with Nerds candy. They're out of blue raspberry, which is like literally my favorite. Blue everything is my favorite. That's what it looks like from inside. It's grape and it has Nerds inside. Usually I would order a blue raspberry with Pop Rocks in it, but they don't have Pop Rocks anymore. What's going on? You want to go to Target or something? All right, guys, we're gonna go to Target. We are at Target, guys. I haven't been to the Super Target in a long time. And there's a Sally's behind me, so we might go to Sally's like right after because I need to dye my hair black, like dark black, black. We're at Target. Should we show them my outfit? It's just a dress I've had in the closet from Forever 21. I'm so excited for Halloween. So I'm like on the lookout for Halloween stuff. Is it done to like months? I know, yeah, but like I'm excited for Halloween. I'm on the hunt for a tripod like a little tripod I have a I have a hand tripod but it's like a little bit too big like too bulky too much so I'm gonna go look at the tripods right now and see if there's anything anything worth I am instantly pulled to the section with cute stuff in it so I found the tripod I was looking for it's this one you see how compact it is Love it. Perfect. I have to show you guys what I found. This one was ripped open, but like, there's another one, but look. You see? This is like, ripped open, but it's like, the complete. It's five, it's a five pack. So there's five cups and five lids, counted. It's just ripped open, it doesn't matter. But anyways, they change colors. Isn't that cool? I like, I don't need them, but I need them. To show you guys these reusable bags, they're so cute. That one has like space at the bottom, you see? So it like opens up, kind of widens up. And then this one's just flat, but they're so cute. And they're reusable, which is like awesome. But they have like all of these different patterns and stuff. Look at how cute they are. Super cute. All right, guys, I am out of Target. I'm gonna show you guys the tripod that I got. 
because we're gonna look at it so this is like you could use it also for your phone as it's displayed on here but i'm gonna use it for my camera i don't vlog with my phone like ever so anyways in here it comes like this so it's like the phone one like it grabs this this grabs the phone and then like this piece just hooks up there if you wanna i don't know what you would connect on there i'm not sure but basically the only thing that i need is this this part right here and this part this top part screws under my camera so that's all really i'm interested in the rest not really interested in uh the brand is joby and i believe that my other my dslr camera tripod like the big tripod that i have is also this brand it's really good brand um let's Let's see how it works. So it seems like you press this, okay, so you press this button in here and it moves around and when you let it go, it like doesn't move anymore, which is like great because the one that I usually use that's bigger than this and it like also moves around, I think it's also Joby. Probably saying it wrong too, but I think it's also the same brand, but it has like the ball so it like moves all like weird and stuff, like different angles. Um, it's like convenient, but also like I don't need it, need it. I kind of need something smaller like this where I can just like grab my camera like that and stuff like grab it like that. Uh, but I really like it because it like all, all I have to do is just press this button and it'll move the angle of the camera and I'll let it go and it doesn't move anymore which is great because the other one I have to like twist it so it can get tighter and then sometimes it like I guess the gnarls lose um like like the teeth or I don't know how to say it become like worn out so it stops like working as well and that's the issue that I've also had with the other one um so I don't use it as often anymore because it's always going loose like I always have to like tighten it and it just seems that like no matter how tight I make it like it doesn't work so anyways it's like really good I like didn't even know it came like that but like that's awesome um so that's great uh like I said the camera goes on top of here and there's like a silicone part right here where like I guess your camera shouldn't really move and basically all you have to do is just open it up and like sit it on top of something and like it's perfectly fine which like I love that and it's like small the only thing that I do like about my other one is that like it slides out so for this one I have to like I know that I will constantly have to unscrew it if I have to put it somewhere where this won't fit but other than that like this is really like cool because I can just throw it in my bag and it's not bulky it's like really convenient and compact like I love it you know let me let me try it out I'm screwing it on as we speak and it's like literally perfect like I love it I got this energy drink by coca-cola that i did not that it has coffee in it and i like have never seen this so i want to try it out it's a coca-cola with coffee cheers it really is not bad it actually tastes super good it tastes like coke but like with coffee like the aftertaste is coffee Actually good. We got our hair stuff. Officially home, you all. Goodness gracious. So I'm officially home. This is, okay, so I got the Wella black toner. And let me tell you, like all of the black, black hair toners are sold out. So I had to get this one. Usually I get the Aryan oil, something like that. Uh, but it was all sold out, like literally. So I got this one in Wella, and then I got a Volume 20 developer, which is one of this and one of this, and mix it up, and that's it. And then I got one of these because I can't find mine. I think I might have thrown it away. I'm not sure. But anyways, we're going to do this tonight. And then a quick little Target haul. I got these for the cat, and he knows the sound. So he's already on his way. He knows, he knows the sound of treats. Look. Oh my god. 
dude, come on. Here. I'm gonna give him a few. Because he like literally just inhaled that. Okay. So he has some too, but he has some bacon ones, and I'm gonna go grab it in a minute. Uh, I ended up getting the little reusable baggies for like work lunch and stuff. Um, these are just like so cute and super convenient because you can wash them out and reuse them again. And I got a Toby this um, prepared meal, which he has never had before, but um, I'll give it to him right now. Looks disgusting. Okay. Toby. Come here. You with your baby. He likes it. Okay, looks disgusting, but he loves it. And then I did get the cups with the the mood changing cups with the straws and the lids are in here somewhere. Here they are. Okay, these were like the only ones, so I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna try them out. For you guys uh these are so freaking cute like they're so pretty uh so i'm pretty excited kind of glad i found these that's literally all i got oh and then i got two fleece blankets one for me one for valerie and some pillows and that's it all right let me get out of look at definitely in need of some color and now that i cut my ends um it's definitely gonna hold color so it's not gonna wash out this easily anymore and I'm going to get all of these white hairs under control as well. So, be right back. By the way, a lot of you guys ask where I get my bras from. And I get them, I get them from Savage X Fenty. Not sponsored. I buy them all. Uh, but if you would like to sponsor me one day at a Savage X Fenty, I'm down. But I've literally spent a lot of money on bras. But I love them so much so it's definitely worth becoming a member for sure but anyways i got a package yesterday i didn't show you guys um but i got this bra it's wired from inside like from top to bottom it fits a little funny because it's not cupped but it still is like in the form of a bra um but it's really nice it's like it's like a corset type of of, of a fit and i got this I got this one in a 1X. So this one's in a 1X. And then I also got this one and I this one came in a set. So with the panties and the bra. And it's like this really pretty neon bra. It's not these are not push-up bras. I don't like push-up bras because it just like makes everything spill out and I don't like it. Um but this is a 42 double D so I like depending on what kind of bra it is I will go from 42 double D or 42 triple D like really depending but this one's a 42 double D and it fits so nice it's like so pretty but like le legit all of my bras are Savage X Menti this one's also Savage X Fenty. This one's a 42 double D, but I've got, I got this one a while ago. I like, I like literally have so many bras now from Savage X Fenty. Like all my bras are literally from Savage X Fenty and they're so comfortable. I highly recommend these though. Um, these are with straps and also strapless and you can also adjust them to like halter top. But I get asked a lot about this one like when I don't like when I wear a like a like a crop top that's strapless or just like a, a strapless dress or a dress that I don't want the straps to show um I usually use this bra which is also from Savage X Fenty and this is in a 42 double D as well and I'm not sure what this one is called but I'm gonna try not to forget and I'm gonna link it down below for you guys but this bra is like so awesome um, it fits great. It covers up everything and it doesn't like spill out and it stays still like where it is like as if you had the straps on. If you don't wear the straps, it's like if you, if you wear it strapless, it will not move. And I have not found a bra that's this good with this situation going on um, that fits this comfortable and also doesn't move and whatnot. 
has like silicone inside so it doesn't move and again this is not sponsored <clears throat> I literally have purchased each and every single bra and panty that I have like ever gotten from Savage X Fenty but but again um highly recommend anyways uh, but yeah and like really good quality as well it's thick it's comfortable it's breathable it's it doesn't move like it's just awesome like I love it I have I bought like like five of these in nude and then I have a couple of them in black so I like am obsessed with this bra right here the dye is now on my hair and it's gonna sit like that for like maybe an hour so I'm gonna go ahead and go wash some dishes and do a little bit of cleaning I'm gonna go do laundry tomorrow and uh, I gotta get all that like my room like there's there's a lot of uh <laughs> there's a lot of clothes on my floor so I'm gonna have to go ahead and pick that up organize it into the baskets and then yeah get that ready for tomorrow in the morning um so yeah uh, I know I've gone back and forth with like going back to purple hair and black like I'm telling you I see somebody with like colored hair and I'm like oh my god I'm gonna go back to it and then I see somebody with dark hair and then I'm like no I have to like stick to black <laughs> so um oops it's been a back and forth situation but um after this I'm gonna let it wash out for as long as it like takes to wash out and which is usually a while if I cut my hair and I dye it black it usually lasts a while so I'm just gonna dye it like this black right now and then when it's like washed out and I feel like it's okay to like bleach my hair without it turning like super orange and having a hard time pulling out the black <clears throat> um we'll go back to light purple but yeah after this we're going back to lavender purple as i used to back in the days because i really do miss it here's my new fleece blanket and i think someone's loving it <laughs> like he's he's a moon okay he's a vibe he's like vibing with my new fleece blanket i'm back fresh out the shower this is how my hair came out super black it's just as i wanted it my camera just did something super weird um where it says that like the camera memory wasn't recorded <sighs> i think i'm just gonna end up having to eventually buy a new camera if my camera's an issue it is a little old um she is a few years old so that could probably be it um that i probably will be needing a new camera pretty soon just a vlogging camera i do have this one right here but like imagine like trying to vlog with this like this is my um like haul or mukbang type of camera not essentially like a camera that i would like to vlog around with because like my arm would be like super sore and like tired from trying to carry that but uh yeah huh probably gonna have to look into a new camera pretty soon i hope not um i hope this one hangs on for a while so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and sort out my laundry because remember laundry tomorrow and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right loves i'm currently editing this video you guys are watching and i'm gonna eat a, a nice little toasty bagel but I wanted to come back and touch on this subject um, from leaving my mom's or my parents' house earlier. It's not like I'm not I'm not mad at my sister-in-law. It's more over like a thing that my mom does, I guess. And um, I don't blame my sister-in-law because maybe she doesn't notice. She's just having a jolly good old time um, having a conversation with my mom. But like I literally wasn't there for even an hour. And how are you? Nothing. I mean, yeah, I was greeted when I came in like hey you know but that's about it any anything other than that like what'd you do today Claudio or like what's what's new like no because like I didn't even have a chance because like they were talking 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 and I was just like on my phone on my phone <sighs> just like waiting for like the, the opportunity to like jump in the conversation but like I was just like you know what I'm like just gonna go like I'm just gonna go I'm like kind of over it kind of tired of it um just i would i would have if i would have known it would have been like that um i would just stay at home 
save myself a drive, the hot ass drive. Just stayed home on my phone, like literally, but <clears throat> it's whatever. Like I said, it, no hate or like hard feelings towards my sister-in-law or my mom. Like it is what it is and um, it is what it is. So I'll just go see my mom one of these days because it's like different. If, if I go, if I'm there first, we'll talk. Like we'll normally talk. But then as soon as my sister-in-law and my brother get there, it's like the conversation is just like just towards my sister-in-law and I don't know if she notices it or not. I don't know. Um, and it's like something that I don't want to bring up because it's like kind of weird, I guess. Um, it's just something that I shouldn't bring up like, hey, can you guys include me in your car? Like it's just dumb. Like it just sounds so dumb, right? <clears throat> Even saying it out loud, like it just sounds so dumb. But, like, usually I'll have, like, input in, in a conversation. Like, well, I'll be in. But, like, today, like, I wasn't, like, included in the conversation, like, at all. So, I, I just left annoyed. And I honestly didn't even say, like, goodbye to, like, my brother and my sister-in-law. Like, I didn't say goodbye to anybody. Like, honestly, I was just like, all right, I'm leaving. I'm going home. And my mom was kind of, like, already. And I was like, yeah. And then I just, like, I just, like, left. Like, just like that um i was like thinking about sending a message to my sister-in-law like hey you know hard feelings but like why why should i have to say sorry for leaving because i wasn't being included in a message like it just doesn't like click right <clears throat> so like whatever we'll just see each other again when we see each other like i said no hard feelings um i was just i guess i was just annoyed today at that and um my feelings are totally valid. I again like sometimes I feel like I should apologize for feeling um left out or like left out of a situation or um for feeling some some type of way, but it doesn't make sense. Like that's bullied me um grammar school saying sorry to my bullies because they bully me and we I just want them to I just want to be like like it just doesn't make sense, right? So no, <clears throat> I'm not gonna send out a message and say, hey, this is why I left because like if it's it, like if nobody sees what the issue there was, then like why should I um, like why should I reach out and like let let them know what the what the issue is if they don't see that what the issue was? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so like I just don't do that no more. Like I just don't deal with that. Like. <sighs> For some reason lately, like, as soon as something bothers me, I just, like, take myself away from the situation instead of dwelling over it or, um, feeling bad about something and then reaching out to the person to make things better when I'm not the one who, like, started the situation. Like, I, I don't know, like, saying sorry for being left out. It just doesn't make sense, right? Um, so it's not gonna happen. But yeah, I'll just see my my family when I see them, and like we'll chit chat, whatever. I can tell my mom th felt like there was something wrong because I was very quiet. Um, I did ask them like, hey, let's let's eat something, you know, so we can like buy something and like, cause that's usually what we do. We we eat and I don't know, just that's how we like vibe together right but everybody kept taking long because they kept talking about something and like i was just waiting 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 nothing was happening <clears throat> and i was just like you know what like deuces i'm out like i'm not doing this this weekend i'm just, just not doing this today um so that's been my mood lately i've just been taking myself out of situations lately uh if i meet somebody and i, I like i like to give everybody a chance for sure but if I meet someone and like within like the first two red flags, I just completely shut them down. Not shut them down, but like shut down from them. Uh, I already don't open up myself to people. So uh, like I said, the first couple red flags, I just kind of like, you know, no hard feelings. But I like you're only going to get as much out of me as like just this. My me being polite and like that's it you know but uh, no <clears throat> like i just I, I just don't open up to people 
anymore at all for a while but like lately it's just been like the first two red flags and like that's it like I just don't f with you like I just don't like I I, I don't know it's like really hard to invest time in people and um very risky very very risky whoever I whoever you want to invest your time in and who you want to open up with because the last thing you want to do is open up to somebody like fully feel like you want to trust them and like you trust them and then all of a sudden something happens and like they start feeling weird or you start feeling weird and like the vibe goes off and then they go on you know start talking about you or just things like that like I, I don't like that so I've like pulled myself away from the situation for a long time like it's been a while since I've opened up to anybody and like talked about my personal feelings and just stuff like that I mean I do talk to you guys like which I love because a lot of you guys can relate to things that I go through and like things that I go through my head and stuff like that <clears throat> but people in like I don't know it's hard to find like a true real good friend it's really really hard to come across those people and um I feel like my work life is kind of like my social life and kind of like meeting a lot of new people have really put me in that position where like I can't trust you or you or, or nobody and I'm not gonna say nothing you know so don't open up to anybody at work at all period anyways like I wasn't planning to but like you never know like you there's times where you come across that one person that like there's just something about them that you could fully trust because I'm not gonna lie there are a couple people at my job that just give off that great great vibe and I feel like I can trust them and stuff like that amongst meeting a lot of the people that work there are snakes a lot of fake people evil people and a lot of women that love to talk about each other and just trust me guys I have a lot of stories I will open up like I'll talk to you guys about like my warehouse work life which I'm pretty excited to talk to you guys about I feel like I should do a series of like get ready with me's and um talk to you guys like tell you guys stories and like how some of the women there are and stuff like that and like what goes on so I could talk to somebody about my life you know like actual instead of uh you know keeping all these juicy teas to myself <laughs> But it's a very interesting life in a warehouse. It really is. And it showed me that I really can't trust people. And people are evil. And um, there are no friends. And it's really... I mean, there are. But they're very, very, very hard to come across. And sometimes when you think you can trust somebody, you really can't. Um, that side of them doesn't take that long for that side of them to come out anyways. And I usually wait a little bit, even though there's already some red flags, but it usually really comes out. Um, and I'm usually right about somebody. Anyways, from the beginning. But it doesn't take away, like, I'm still nice and polite to people regardless. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I should keep my personal life away from work. And it's the way I'm going to continue to do it. Um, <clears throat> and of course... I'm gonna tell, talk to you guys about everything like you know which is yeah which is something I plan doing like a get ready with me and then like you know the tea the work tea and cheese me with you guys which is uh is what I'm gonna do um but yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you liked it I believe it is, a, it is a little longer than usual and I know a lot of you guys really do appreciate a longer vlog which I do from my favorite youtubers like when they put out long vlogs, like, I love, love that. Tomorrow's laundry day, so tomorrow's another day. Anyways, love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!